What is going on YouTube? This is Slushy Games playing MGS5 Phantom Pain. Last time we played, Please select a mission. we played Red Brass, which was those three commanders. These two missions here involve tanks. This one is just extracting Malik Mujahideen prisoner who's being held at a prison. So I thought I'll do this sneaky mission first and then I'll do the tank missions. Mission accepting to Afghanistan. Which you'll see here. High grade versions of Wait, what the fuck? Deploying. All my weapons are blue now. Because the last two days I've been really busy with work and whatnot, so I've been kind of on and off trying to do side ops and stuff, but I've been feeling like poop, so I didn't really want to play like regular missions. The last one I, I sounded like a lazy piece of poop doing it. <clears throat> this one I'm more talkative, of course. But while I was doing a sneaky mission just earlier, I realized pl playing with just that little handgun was starting to piss me off. So I decided. I'm gonna buy a lot of stun guns. I bought a bazooka. I don't know if I mentioned that yet. But I bought a bazooka. Just for those tank missions. So, I've been watching stuff also on that when it comes to these future tank missions. At the level on that, I don't have a certain specific bolt equipment. Oh my god, it's this place. So, I don't know the specific bolt and stuff. But like I said, so I'm not going to be able to fully do a, a non-kill play. Hope everyone's okay with that. Analysis complete. 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 Okay, so there's an APC there, and I'm assuming Analysis complete. There's, they're going to be in there. I know he's the major puppy. There, that's the target. The map has been updated. Not to sound like a jackass, I'll just admit it. But I might have cheated a little bit because I've been watching a lot of stuff, or sorry, I listen to a lot of videos as I drive to work. And, Whatnot, because I'm a big nerd like that. But, um. So I kind of. kind of know how this mission plays out. Because I'm not gonna lie, I do not remember how this plays out if I were not to play it. Can I fuck up the electronics in this thing? Well, that was a whole waste. Okay. Sorry about that.
Okay, so I was over there. I got caught by that guy. I did some stupid shit. And I decided just to download a new checkpoint. Because I like sneaky. I know that's cheating. This gun, the silencer goes out in like five shots. Stupid as shit, but it is what it is. The target's been transferred. I've sent the information to your map screen. You're gonna need more information to pinpoint a location. The map has been updated. Marker placed. And here we go for another fast forward. Uh -huh. Arrived at the mother base. After that.
You gotta extract him. He's coming too. Roger that. Ah, badly wounded. We can rule out a full extraction. We'll just have to do it by chopper. Call the chopper from your iDroid boss. Please support the target to it. Requested. Alright, so it said two prisoners died. I guess there was four prisoners? Hmm. So the ones I've captured, they said, oh, this is the information I got. Unless those are the ones that died. But I lost fame for it anyway. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I could do this mission later on and try to figure that one out. But, but hey, isn't it good that I bought the bazooka? The bazooka. arrived at mother base development project has been added amazing mission complete that right there is why you're the best boss the one and only hmm you extracted, Malak, is saying that he's never heard of our client. What's more, he says his village was destroyed long before he was ever taken prisoner. Apparently it fell victim to some sort of disease, then was completely burned to the ground. Malak was out on a mission at the time, and that's the reason why he alone survived. But the question is, who hired us to find him? According to Malak, he saw strange soldiers snooping around the village when he got back. Turns out they were members of Cypher Strike Force XOF. My theory is they wanted to get their hands on Malik to question or silence him before the Soviets could get to him. Cypher was just using us to cover things up. All that crap about Malik's relative was a front to convince us to retrieve him. But an entire colony just wiped off the map. It sounds a lot like the Hamid during the Honeybee incident. All I know, boss, is there's no way in hell I'm handing Malik over to Cypher. I decided to bring him back to Mother Base instead. He's one of us now. We told the client through a cutout that the target was killed. For some reason, though, they still paid us everything we were owed. Cypher's obviously up to something, and this is probably just another preemptive cleanup operation to them. But to Malik, he lost his village, his family, everything, and he wants his revenge. In other words, he's one of us. Yeah, revenge and stuff. We're finally ready to put together a combat unit. Staff assigned to the unit will be dispatched as mercenaries to conflict zones. That should guarantee us a stable source of income. Merc deployment allows you to send combat unit staff on relatively easy missions suited to the unit's level. There's little risk, but the rewards are low too. However, there are also contracts known as dispatch missions that offer a higher risk and reward. Give your orders to undertake these missions using your iDroid. Okay. Remember the 
guys you brought back from the base in Cuba nine years ago. Believe it or not, some of them survived that hell we went through. Word reached them that Big Boss is back and they want it in. They're good men. Our brothers in fate. They'll be glad to know you've seen them here.